Form Z Render Zone Plus also offers a number of non-photorealistic rendering techniques. They can be used to create images that appear hand-rendered. In the following example, we will explore a few of those techniques. Let's start with our ambient occlusion algorithm again. Here we have a scene that has no colors or textures applied, just simple white surfaces. And we'll add ambient occlusion to that with a noise option. And as the rendering progresses, you can see the ambient occlusion is very effective in simply bringing out the three-dimensional character of the scene. And the noise option makes the shading subtly, stiply, gives it an effect as if the image were drawn with a pencil or stippled by a pencil rendering. A second rendering mode I'd like to show is our doodle rendering. Unlike the ambient occlusion, this is a line-based drawing mode. We can choose from a number of predefined styles where the initially straight lines are broken up into smaller line segments that can extend and can be broken up into wavy lines to create all kinds of hand-drawn effects that can be more or, le or less realistic or unrealistic and can be further customized into all kinds of rendering styles. A third non-photorealistic rendering style is the sketch rendering mode. It is based on an underlying rendering, which is either shaded render or render zone. And we can choose from a number of different hand-drawn effects, maybe an oil painting, a few basic parameters guide the appearance of the final rendering. First, the underlying rendering is produced, and then the hand-drawn effect applied on top of it, in this case, simulating an oil painting. We can also choose the render zone rendering mode as the underlying drawing, choose a different sketch style, the uh, lines and strokes simulates a cross hatch pattern of pencil strokes with some straight lines around the borders of our shapes. We can see that the background is taken from the accurate render zone and the shading and rendering effect drawn from the sketch rendering mode.